share with you a new tutorial that I've been really excited to do. Um, as you can tell, I kind of have a Barbie ponytail going on and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I've also paired it with a little bit of some really fun makeup, a pur purple and pink eyeshadow and some false lashes to go with the Barbie theme. Barbie, as my inspiration, I created this really cute um, kind of a high ponytail with a really soft curl and my bang sweat back. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and rock out this really cute Barbie ponytail. Let's begin. To start this style, you're going to need your hair to be straight, blow dried out, no flat iron. Now we're going to take a top section all the way back to our crown and you can see my partings here. And what we're going to do is this is going to be where we're going to tease. So I'm going to bring a small section from the back and then take the rest of my hair and clip that forward so I don't lose it. Now I'm going to take about a one inch section from side to side using a soft brush and I'm going to tease all of my hair so that it has some really cute volume. And I'm going to continue this till about halfway up because I don't want to do it right in front so you're not going to see this big huge tangled rat's nest. You want it to look really soft and perfect just like a Barbie. Now part your hair straight down the middle in the back and bring your two sides to each side of your shoulder. This is going to keep your hair out of your way. Brush out all of your tangles and we're going to split this side into three sections. And I'm going to use my large hot rollers and I'm going to twist my hair around it. This is going to give your Barbie ponytail a really cute curl at the end. And I'm going to put my clips right about at my chin or jaw length so that it's not going all the way up on top of my head but just at the ends. And then I'm going to section this into another section and put another hot roller. And I'm curling mine under. You can curl yours how you want. This is just how I'm wanting to do mine. And I'm going to clip this one up as well. And remember, it's going to stay right at your jawline. And then I'm going to clip up the back one the same way. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other side of your hair. Remember to leave your bangs out or your fringe so that way it doesn't have a big curl and allow it to cool all the way. Now if you're in a hurry, you can always take your blow dryer, put it on the cool setting with the diffuser and diffuse it so it's going to allow your hair to set and keep that curl intact. And then once it's done cooling, you're going to take out all of your rollers. Now let's get ready to put up your ponytail. So basically what I'm going to do is section from the top of my ears up to my crown. And we're going to take this and separate it from the bottom half of our hair. And I'm going to take a handy dandy butterfly clip and clip that on top of my head. And I'm going to pull all of this up into a high ponytail and make sure that I'm not getting any hair from the very top because we don't want to get that yet. And now I'm going to take a ponytail holder and make sure that I get it really nice and tight and so that it's nice and secure. And then after I've gotten my ponytail holder all the way around, I'm going to separate it into two and kind of tug. That way I know it's nice and tight. Then I'm going to release the butterfly clip from the top and we're going to start working on the top of our hair, making sure that our tease is nice and smooth. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to type kind of smooth down the top part of my hair in my crown area. And I'm going to separate the sides, so from my ears forward, I'm going to pull that out. This is going to be the part that makes it easier to smooth the sides out. So now we're going to work on the top part of our crown. And now what I'm going to do is something kind of like this with a little bit of a poof. And I'm going to twist it in the back and then bobby pin that top part right at the base of my ponytail. That way you're not going to see the bobby pins and it's going to stay nice and secure and not pull out your tees. Then bring back the sides into your ponytail and we're going to start to smooth this out, making sure that all around the edges there are no bumps or lumps or splits. And I'm going to use just a soft comb and kind of manipulate it with my hands and make sure that it's exactly how I want it to be placed. Then I'm going to take a ponytail holder and again wrap this around my ponytail. This is going to make sure that all of my hair is secure and not going anywhere. Now I'm going to style my fringe. If you have long bangs, you can do it like me, and I'm going to use a one inch curling iron, insert the clip in front of me, and pull it back and away from my face. That way it's going to give it a really cute curl. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. 
Now if you have a different type of fringe, you can just style it how you want to. After I've styled my fringe, I'm going to place it where I want and hairspray all over my hair. This is going to keep it set so that I don't have to worry about it falling out. Now I'm going to grab a small piece underneath my ponytail and wrap this around, making sure that it's thick enough to where it's going to cover my rubber band so it makes it a super cute and modern way to wear your ponytail. Then I'm going to grab a hair colored bobby pin and just pin that little tail underneath. And make sure that you're getting it right on the hair piece so that it doesn't become unraveled. Now I'm going to grab my fringe and place it how I want it and hairspray it all up. If you don't want to hairspray it, you don't have to worry about doing that. It's just how I want to do it. And now that we have our hair set and styled, we are ready to go rock our awesome Barbie ponytail. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thanks!